okay what's up guys unique 19 is here and today i'm gonna i have a really interesting theory in persona 5 and i think any persona fan should look into this as well as well any any persona 5 persona related youtuber should actually look closer to that because persona 5 may have a, a hidden message for for us all uh, what, what actually was interesting for me that I found this article uh, that that basically that basically really got my my actual intention about Persona 5 and about and about and about the similarities between real life event that happened in Japan real life Japan that happened also in Persona 5 so we're gonna go look into this as this will gonna be really interesting before i just need to put a disclaimer japan is just a country it got its own pros and cons definitely japan is not perfect not there is no country that called perfect so i just want to put that out there because i don't want any any you know hate comment saying that japan is perfect and stuff like that i love japan I'm learning Japanese. I I'm all about Japan, but this is this is something else. Okay, so so the article begins at, at telling us the the actual disclaimer at the beginning of the game. So basically, so basically the disclaimer says that any similarities you may have between the characters at, or basically events on the game, or it it might happen in real life it's purely consequences no no not consequences uh, uh accidentally you know uh, you know it's you know and this disclaimer is something that uncommon on games and most games today so they just want to put that out there because they don't want to say that persona 5 is a real life story okay so why is that? At 2011, there is an earthquake that happened in Japan. That uh, that the team was forced, uh, or they at least feel that the game must, you know, you know must be about Japan. Must not. At first, they want to make uh, Persona 5 something that uh, the entire world. But they, but after, but after the crisis they just uh, think uh, excuse me guys uh, I think the team think that it should be the best so basically so basically in Persona 5 the protagonist aim to steal the heart of the villain because of the of the crimes that they have committed against the innocent these crimes range from physical to sexual abuse to corrupt politics so you know and it's not like an anime series plot <laughs> let's just be honest it's like okay so if you compare persona 5 to persona 3 to persona 4 the bad guys really just i think persona 4 got a really interesting functional story in general but persona 5 i think i think it got some some actually real life accent okay so so the first one we got the volleyball teacher which called Kamoshida physically and sexually abused his players eventually forcing one girl Chihu to attempt suicide the young the young ass uh, ace survived the fall but she left emotionally and physically scarred the school cover covers for Kamoshida because of the success he brought to the valuable team even the students themselves are afraid to make any action knowing that it would be fruitless eventually the phantom thieves come to to rescue forcing Kamoshida to admit his crime and be judged by the full extent of the law unfortunately the reward isn't quite so just so basically this is the uh, first, the first, you know, villain of Persona 5 called Kamoshida. So we're gonna 
tell you now what really happened on Japan, which is which is just insane, guys. It's, just, it's mind blowing. On 2012, a 17 years old high school student on 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 Osaka committed suicide at home. The young man was was captain of the basketball club, and basically <laughs> he had taken his own life as a risk as a result of beating he he received then the coach uh, Ijima Kumuro okay so that so that Japanese teacher was actually beating him around doses of time of punishment of punishment for for basically his mistake uh, he he made during the training match on the trial well basically uh, the teacher eventually admitted to uh, to the abuse that he claimed and he never thought the student would go as far as taking his own life during the trial the city of Osaka attempted to arrange that Kumuro abuse had nothing to do with the young man's suicide the court immediately found him guilty of assault receiving the sentence of one year in prison Suspended for three years, um, it that seemed like a slap on the wrist because it unfortunately was. So it really happened. 2012 is uh, you know a really really close. Something happened on something happened in real life Japan. Okay, so. So the whole case promote the education ministry to invest the corruption punishment on school across Japan leading to horrifying discovery that almost 7,000 teachers across 4,000 schools around the school had physical abused over 14,000 students around Japan. That is just nuts. That is nuts. This is fucking crazy Japan. Physical abuse was technically demented illegal after World at War II is was it it's still very real problem I spent five years working as junior high school teacher and even in that short period of time I witnessed an unfortunate number of these kind of accidents so children on Japan are getting abused by their teachers they got they receive some kind of punishment physical punishment and sometimes who knows maybe sexual to these young Japanese teens you know they want to get that ass they want to get that titty the teacher they are just horny as fuck so they just they grab that innocent teen and start BAM <laughs> okay I'm just joking <laughs> okay so okay so let's go that uh, down there it's okay so the so the fifth this is the number five false on japan on uh, persona five japanese accidents which is to be honest it's a bit shameful you know every single one you could prove it but there is actually so many stuff that i can't really just put in one video so i'm just gonna put the link to the article no article down below in the description so you can actually check it out to yourself okay so the fifth persona revolve around kumoro o kumoro fruits a giant corporation that that ruined it to be one of one of japan black companies in japan black companies is a term used to refer to ex, uh, you know just overworking place Okay, so Kunz Kunizu Okumaru is the president of the in-game company, and despite uh, and despite his incredible success on the business board, his view his his employees as nothing but replaceable ghosts in his giant machine to. In light this, uh, they are present uh, in his palace, 
uh, by by toy robots like enemies due to his state and and you know political ties uh, however he completely untouched by the law the phantom thieves target eventually bring him down by stealing his own heart and after that that uh, spoilers are uh, spoilers are uh, alert after the phantom thieves dump from him some mysterious guy end up killing him causing a uh, causing a breakdown <laughs> and everyone's just gonna flop in the phantom thief day get out of here son killing our people not cool phantom thieves <laughs> okay so black companies are fortunately a very, very real problem a real problem not only in japan i think it's the entire world i think i definitely have seen it on egypt egypt got a really this problem really exists in egypt jordan I'm suffering from it right now. <laughs> Trust me, 80 hours work a day? <laughs> that is just too much, man. I can't take it anymore. <laughs> Someone save me, bro. <laughs> Donate money through PayPal, PlayStation Plus. Any way you could give me money, give me money. Money. Okay, so. Uh, without a clear solution, it it's so bad that there is a, a sophistic is specific Japanese term used to describe uh, that that could be directly tied to the issue Karushi Karushi can more or less be translated as death result from work related stress in 2016 uh, Dan Dantusu uh, an advanced Genge was given the award for the most evil cooperation corporation of the year pushing some of its employees to do as much as 200 hours of overwork overtime work per month along with its discriminatory and uh, an abuse work culture earned it this reward but that doesn't mean much in the long run. The company is still doing what is what it does, and they show no sign of changing their poor practices. As long as they uh, they are, you know, doing profit, which is just insane to be honest. Just okay. So uh, okay. Okay, so Persona 5 uh, doing this uh, a simpler there than than earlier position of the game primary because there is a disconnection between the teens protagonist and their clever fruit. Eventually, the adult world, what we do see in a primary fruit, present on the common knowledge, even the amount of young. Of the youth population despite despite all of that there is no really movement on the police and to write things the world just um, just goes about its its business you know because they can't really charge them something illegal because it it's pretty much legal because you sign up to the contract she said you know I'm gonna be working over over an hour without getting paid which is just insane to be honest and it's just a like, great show and uh and just really bad overall and still happening in japan to this day and that company didn't get punished that's really bad man and it's just like two bosses out of seven out seven or eight bosses on persona 5 so that's proof that Persona 5 is end up through real life event that happened in Japan, which is just nuts. Okay, so there is a plenty more di direct and and basically indirect re reference to the real world event in Persona 5. And the above example are simply the tip of the iceberg. Atlas latest giant RPG, where it's, it themes on its slave. 
uh, and while it doesn't offer a proper uh, application fix to Japan because social problems it's amazing that the big word uh, big, game, uh, <laughs> big game like that is willing to criticize the things such as public ways these kind of uh, uh, think release are rarely so direct on the criticism uh, in 2011, Tujuma to Tsunami Japan, it wouldn't be terrifying, terrible surprise if we see more of this kind of uh, uh, community going forward. If you are, uh, if you are interested in digging up more Persona 5, I highly, I highly recommend getting into Tabasu the last uh, decent uh, black companies and the current primary minister Shizu Ubi yeah. okay so after this interesting article I have to say that you know Persona 5 is definitely a real life story of of Japanese society in general I think of the Japanese society is the most excuse me for for basically my words here is the most in or basically one of the most fucked up community I have ever seen I have been one of them no one of them I have been so engaged into the Japanese society just I know him I know it just so much I'm into the culture I'm into everything I have to say that the Japanese society in general just the pressure of of your parents just you have to succeed in school and just if the kid just uh, they just see him as a shameful if you just drop out of college you are a fucking failure in Japan so all of that pressure out of the out of Japan society I think in general you know I don't know how to describe it Japan is a beautiful country don't get me wrong and I'm definitely planning planning on getting there a couple of months. I will actually having a vlog on my channel for Japan. I promise you. I'm going there. I'm gonna I'm gonna be on Osaka, Tokyo. It's gonna be around 30 days in Japan. How crazy is that? And the countryside and all of that. I'm just seeing Japan real world. Just gonna give me an honest opinion about it and basically who knows i'm still young i may live there i may not but at the moment i don't, I don't believe so i think i'm just gonna stick with the usa <laughs> usa seems a, a far more <laughs> good a good uh, good country it's a good country you know <laughs> hell hell america <laughs> i'm just joking I, I think any country in the world is uh, completely livable it, it's you know are you okay so at at the end of the day uh, persona 5 is a pretty enjoyable game I think I think the story is very very interesting it's not just interesting it's just it's just realistic realistic just the thing that it the story it happened in real life Japan that give you uh, I don't know a word to describe it, but they give you that vibe of somebody actually lived through that hell, and you get to experience the same hell, but but you are not suffer suffering as much as them. And uh, you know, in the game, actually, they offer a solution. You know, they offer a solution. <laughs> yeah, like I said, it's pretty crazy, isn't it? So I would love to thank you guys for watching this video I'm sorry for my terrible English accent uh, I'm not the best English speaker in the world because that is not my mother my mother tongue this is the fourth language that I learned which is English so that is of course good I can speak French I live in Germany I'm learning Japanese and Arabic is my first language so Arabic is one of the most difficult words, uh, difficult languages in the world. So yeah, I'm a pretty badass.
no i'm just kidding i'm just learning it from my mother but anyway guys <laughs> without all joke aside i'm still learning japanese you know but i see what unique this yeah you could cringe on that and make uh, some kind of music compilation of that anyway guys for real i'm out uh um if any persona 5 on a persona youtuber want to collab and do some kind of uh, video together i would love i would love to have a chat with you you know i would love to make videos and you know anyway if any youtuber in general want to, want to collaborate with me that would be much much appreciated and much interesting approach to to get into and yeah see you guys in the next video yeah